Today I'm making a video showing how to replace the thermostat on a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta with the five cylinder. This works for, you know, anything after 2005, you know, the later 2005 model Jetta, any of these five cylinder Volkswagens. Um, first thing you want to do is remove the engine cover here slash oil filter, air filter housing. So undo this clamp here. Don't slide this clamp this way. <laughs> slide the clamp towards this housing here, this plastic housing. I see a lot of times people take this and slide it over here and it destroys this corrugated hose. It kind of pinches it and weirds it all out. So it's just better to move it that way. It's just a silly little thing, but then pull this cover straight up. It's on rubber grommets. So what you're gonna wanna do is when you're, um, you know, undo this as well. This one's already broken off. There's usually a little lid here. You pop the lid off. Then you just undo these barbs here and here with a little flat blade, and then you can have it loose like this. But you want to keep kind of constant um, upwards tension on it, like like this, for kind of a, a small, you know, a short period of time, and that helps release them. If you try to do it all at once, they'll usually, you can damage the housing, and these are very expensive. So you wanna just kinda of keep pulling on it evenly for a little while until this thing pops off. So I'm gonna pull this off right now. With that up out of the way, next thing you wanna do is, I like to pull the throttle body off the car. So undo this clamp the same way, just undo it and slide this off and then just let that rest on the throttle. And then undo these two, these two little hoses here. You just squeeze in the sides and then pull back on them like that. So do that on both of those and then you can get this out of here. I'll just undo this one plug here on the throttle body and then undo the four um, T, T30 Torx bits that hold this on. Undo this, the four bolts, and then you can leave this line attached if you want to, if you don't want to deal with this, and just take this and just kind of swing it, swing it over here with the purge valve, disconnect that, and then take this whole assembly and just kind of move it over here, that's, that's fine. With that up out of the way, you're gonna to wanna to pull this metal bracket off right here where it plugs into the cylinder head. So undo all the little harness clips up here, this one here for the cam position sensor and then these um this little injector injector harness connectors like this you just push in the this tab right here and then they release so pull those all up and then take this take this um harness and get a little flat blade screwdriver and just try to pry it up out of its little home here so i'll show you <clears throat> lift it up like this and then you can this whole thing will kind of pop out of there pretty pretty nicely usually like that <clears throat> so undo that harness and then you can swing this whole thing up out of the way now you're gonna want to use one of these triple squares this is a 10 millimeter and um, undo these screws here I'm kind of under here like this these quarter inch drive work the best you just crack both of these loose, this one and this one. And then this whole bracket, you can just pull this back once those two screws are out and unplug it from the front. And then you can kind of sneak this out of there. All right, with that up out of the way, I like to take this whole harness and just kind of move it the best you can up like this and swing it over there like this. Then you can uh, undo this breather hose right here, this vacuum line that goes to the oil separator. Just unclip that. Un undo your um, your map sensor down here. You can just push in on the one tab. This one's actually kind of stuck. Pull that. Undo that. Move that out of the way. And um, you're gonna want to pull this um, this fuel rail, the fuel line off of the fuel rail. That actually you can do that before you undo these two screws. Then it makes it a little bit easier to grab that out of there. Not that it's a really a real big struggle or anything like that but you're going to want to undo this if you don't want to do it here you know if it's fighting you you can do it down here with a little quick connect you just follow it back here and then you push in this little this, the little plastic fingers towards towards the metal thing and then it, un, it releases sometimes those can fight too but um, i'm probably just going to do it right here so next thing you're going to want to do with all that out of the way is get a shop vac or air hose or whatever you have and try to clean this the best you can right up here above the intake manifold. We're gonna be pulling the intake manifold off. So all this dirt and stuff is gonna drop down into the intake ports if you don't kind of blow that out of there, or vacuum it or whatever. So once that's clean, you're gonna to wanna to take this little clip here for the dipstick and push that downwards. So 
you can just use a large screwdriver and kind of just kind of bump it downwards kind of work it on both sides these are kind of kind of a fight but if you just kind of go back and back and forth like that it'll kind of fall down there and then um yeah so clean that push that down a little bit like i just did and then you can lift the car up and you have to do a few things from underneath i'll show you all right from underneath you're going to want to undo those two screws up there that go to that bracket see if I can get a, actually get this thing to zoom in. There they are, that one there, and that one there. They're gonna be triple squares, um, eight millimeter. So I'm gonna end up using this right here, just a long extension, quarter inch drive, eight millimeter triple square, and I'll undo those two. Now with it back down again, what you're gonna need to do is undo all these screws for the intake manifold. So they're all six millimeter Allen's. Most of them are right here in plain sight. You can get to them pretty easily. You know, just, just like this. Through here, through here. This one's on the side. Even this one. But there's but there's two of them here through these intake, through these holes that they made here in the intake that you run through like this to get to. And then there's another one that I can't even show you through this hole. So you need to use a pretty small um, Allen bit. What I ended up doing is there's actually a special tool you can buy for this for pretty cheap that would make more sense, a real long Allen. But um, this is just a, a standard little quarter inch drive adapter that goes to a six millimeter that I stuck in there. It doesn't stay in there well, so I just took some uh, paper towel and kind of jam it in there so it, so it holds. And then, uh, yeah, you can just undo them all like that. With all those screws out and the intake manifold loose, what I do then is you know you can do this other ways you can loosen this whole bracket so that the dipstick actually is then you know easily to, easy to move around but what i end up doing is i just take a, a pick or a screwdriver or something like that and kind of stick it in here and just pull it away there seems to be enough flex where it doesn't hurt anything pull it away till it comes out of this groove like this that way i can lift up the back of it past the dipstick tube and then i can grab this whole intake out so i'm trying to show you with one hand here but it's probably not the best here so now this whole thing is loose there's just one hose at the bottom here that you could do earlier but i'm gonna do it like this because i don't know and then you want to do this clip right here and this whole thing is kind of loose you don't really need to pull the intake all the way you know off to you just need to get it up out of the way so i may even leave this connected still just kind of lift it like this that is, that's easy enough to get to, but as you can see, it looks pretty nasty. And then here, now you can see your thermostat. So thermostat's right here. You can replace your whole thermostat assembly, or you can just replace the lid and the thermostat. That's what I'm gonna do on this one. Doesn't look like it's really leaking. I'll inspect it a little bit better, but just these two T30 Torx bits here. And then you can pull this back and replace it like any other thermostat. So pretty easy to do, you know, once, once you're here, of course. Um, getting here is kind of a fight, but that's it. Two Torx fasteners, T30s, pop this thing off, put the new one in. If there's a little bleed hole on the thermostat, make sure it's facing upwards, and then make sure that the thermostat, the, the longer end of it with the spring and everything is facing towards the block. I don't think it'll, I don't think you can screw this one up anyways, just because this is so shallow on this side. I think it'll only go in one way, but replace the gasket. There's an O-ring on this, on this, uh, on this side of it. So that's it. Um, now is actually a good time to clean your throttle body while it's off the car. These throttle bodies, they cause a problem. It's pretty common where they'll, they'll set map sensor faults because they'll get kind of gummed up at the plate. This one's not bad at all, but it's a good time to just kind of spray it out and, you know, clean it. But yeah, well, good luck. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks.